It'd be interesting. Would how many women in our audience today would quite like the idea of a house husband? I like would love one. One, two, three, four. Right. Yes. I yes. Think a lot of working women actually want a wife, like men have yeah. always had, yeah. and that is, um, you know, what what we all need. Would you like yeah. a wife? Yeah. I'd love a wife. I'd love a husband. I'd love all right. We'd both like a wife. Yeah. 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 What, does, what does your husband do? He's a writer. So he's at home? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes he's at home. Sometimes he, he travels yeah. as well. And does he take on domestic duties? Well, he does He does quite well, yes. But you see, unfortunately, at the end of the day, it is always us. And uh, survey after survey has yeah. shown. I mean, Karen mentioned men have more fun. And in fact, last week, there was actually a survey which showed that the quality of life for men and for women have improved. But for men, it has improved an awful lot more. Men have an awful lot more spare time. You still earn so and much more money than us. I'm employed, I you think. You earn so much more than us still. <laughs> and you are complaining because it's not quite as good as it once was. But, but you see, we've got to it will never yes. be equal until they have cellulite. <laughs> until they have stretch marks. <laughs> oh, wait yeah. a minute. Until they because have varicose yeah. veins. Hold on, hold on. Exactly. Because we've got lots of young men in the studio today, and clearly, I mean, look at Miss Wonderful Hairdo. Now, you're not telling me that you fell out of bed this morning and your well, hair I'm just naturally went like Eric's that. awful socks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Eric, Eric, you're, you're just, you're banned. Now, uh, all right, but let's have a look at young men. Young men are very aware of their appearance, and that probably means they're also True. very aware of their physical defects. Yeah. Are you miss? Oh yeah. You care about the way you look. Of course you do. And because if you didn't care about the way you look, the bird would be the first one to turn around and give you the Exactly. Hero. So, so, so indeed, you see, so that women have become much more hunters. Uh, I've noticed it, uh, I better be careful what I say, but I have noticed it where I work, actually, that women are much more predatory than they used to be. Yeah, I didn't say that. My colleagues no, will give me help. Sure. But, but it's interesting. Not predatory enough, though, Esther, not predatory enough. Ah. I, used to have ex I used to hold exhale evenings at my flat. <laughs> as in waiting to exhale, women who wanted to exhale to meet the right guy. And we'd get about 30, 40 single women and 30, 40 single men, brought them together, and believe me, the results were terrible because the women were constantly complaining. Well, they said, great, you managed to get together a party where it's 50-50 at last. But unfortunately, they said, the men won't talk to us. They're too aloof. They're too scared. What are they frightened of? And if it was, as you said, as in women were more predatory and hunter-gatherers, then they would make the first move without fear or favour. The walk across the dance floor when you've been blown out is a very long and lonely one. And women have to get used to it, otherwise they're going to be on their own. Do you want women to do that? Yes, come and hunt me. Come and hunt me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you see, you see, it's not just the men. Where are all these people that are getting married? Mm. How come all these shops are open? Can I just ask you about your own life? I mean, does your husband help at home if you're doing all this work? Yeah, we, we, we're, we both, you know, we both work in the business and we both help with it. You know, we've got a very good relationship in what he works for me and he helps in the house as well. He helps in the house, Eric. You see, but oh, he works for me. What do you mean he works for you? Oh, well, he works for the oh, business. Oh, you threw that line in, he, he works, works for, for me. Who's yeah, 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 yeah. the boss? We're both. We're both. Uh, what, what, what's your title? What's his title? Joint Managing Director. Oh, right. So it's a really equal share. Yeah. Who's got the yeah. first name? On the, on the headed paper, who's got the first name check? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the point no, I'm trying to make is that there is so name? many weddings going on out there that, that women are getting married to men and men are getting married to A women. A cynic would say it's because we have the, the highest the, divorce rate in Western Europe now, mm. perhaps. Well, but they get remarried as well. Recycles. So they, yeah, so your the thing is, mm. people aren't satisfied maybe with... Um, 50 years of marriage, so they go for 10 years. But I'm, what I'm saying is they're still getting married all the time. There's still these weddings going on. Is it so I have to disagree. Do you think that the, the two sexes are getting on better than ever then? Yeah, I feel that men are definitely feel threatened. I mean, these have been screaming, you know, they've mm -hmm. taken up most of the conversation because they feel, oh, you know, they've been going on and on and on. Women take over, women do this, where I feel that men are just worried. But if they could just relax, enjoy the ride and just let women come in the same a recent survey a recent survey four yes boys are raised the expectation of a boy when you grow up is that you're going to be the breadwinner you're going to be the the man who runs everything and now men have been realizing they've got to adjust to what the real world is like now and it's it's starting it's starting the playground you know i went back to my my um secondary school a few months ago and the the 15 year old boys were so different to the ones that i remember they were so lacking confidence they were so I'm afraid of the girls, the, the girls are doing better at maths, at science, at everything in the, in the exams. 
And the boys didn't know what their role in, in the world was anymore. They felt really intimidated by women. This is a real problem, women. isn't it? That yeah, women absolutely. are excelling at academic 15, subjects. I was 15 in the very early 80s, and I didn't know what my role was, apart from being a young boy just growing up. I was in an old boys' school. I mean, I'm in my early 30s, and I'm used to the idea of women out-earning me, if, that's, if that might be the case, or living alongside me, being a friend of mine. And I'm not threatened by that. It's, I'm just talking about the result of confusion in the working situation. class relation, in working class... Um, you know, societies where men's roles are much more old-fashioned in a way, and you're, you know, it's like male mm. industries like manufacturing, which we don't have as much of anymore. But it is it's, a it's, real if, if problem. If you're middle class, you can float around a bit more easily in the, in the gender thing, you but know? But it yeah. is a real problem because an awful lot of exams, an awful lot of academic subjects at school are very suited to women, aren't they? And women are doing, girls are doing much better academically. Exam results are better. They're having to find ways of supporting the, the, boys. The, 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 they are, and the, school, the schools are trying to adjust to that. I mean, I talked to my teacher who's still, they're still there, and he was saying that they're, they're trying to re reorganize how they, how they test the boys, because boys can't concentrate for such long periods as the girls do, so they're trying to do different, different ways of testing. The separation so, is a good thing. In so, fact, so they're finding that when they take the boys out of school, the yeah. girls' uh, grades, you know, improve even more. One of the ironies and unfortunate things is that, yes, it's true, women are earning more, and they're very able to have leadership roles, and that men are earning less. Some of them might feel threatened, but many of them really don't feel threatened. But the sad thing is that if you look at what women want when they go to dating agencies, and when they advertise, and when they talk to their friends, and even a study showed that when women earn a lot of money, they expect their partner, who they will meet, to earn even more. Yes. That point, sorry, is it Neve? Yes. yes. So you're, so you're a successful businesswoman. You've also got young children. Yeah. Um, there's a growing trend, you seem to find, that um, many successful um, families um, employ a uh, child mind to take care of their young children. I personally, in my opinion, there's a natural chemical bond between mother and children. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's right for a mother to leave her yeah, kid yeah. with someone else. Yeah, even yeah. if there's well, a close mother, relation. I grew up, you know, with um, somebody looking after me, and I feel I'm a very well-balanced and uh, I've come out to society, okay, I'm not mad, I haven't done critic. Um, did your mum go out to work then? Yes, she did. Yes, so she you had manners and things? Yes, so, um, and as far as my children are concerned, I send them to a nursery, and I think it's very important for children to interact, and for male and female, small children to interact, to get used to society, and it's important that they also see their, their grannies. Right, it's more, important, and uncles. Say it's more important to spend more time with their mothers. This is one of the so things I mentioned. Right, that's interesting. It's definitely important for them to spend time with mothers. I do agree with that. But I think if I was to sit at home all day, everywhere, sit in front of the television, or just watch the children play, um, I think I, I've stimulated, I've earned enough so that they can go out and they can have good stimulation, they can be with other children, they can learn a lot faster, they can get on in today's society, instead of staying at home and not being able to educate them Another to their question best ability. There's, um, there's a Romanian professor, Dr. Botwell Baimovic, and he's, uh, he's done some research. And he's proved that women have like no spatial, well, less spatial sense than men, which would make them worse drivers, worse architects, worse <laughs> artists, this sort of thing. Uh, isn't it, are we just going to get on better if we all accept that we're different and equality yeah. can never and will never happen? Yeah. I think. Do we mind that? Do we mind that? Yes, Paul. Yes. E equality and difference aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. You can be yeah. different but equal. Exactly. Surely so, 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 so that's what we should be talking about. I, no, we're jump? not equal. We're not equal. No, Men are better. We're not equal. Eric. Men are better. Eric, Eric are better. Eric, Eric, can we assume that you think that? Yes. Just, just yes. sit quiet. I don't want to be over maternal with you, but if you'd just like to sit quiet oh. just for a second. Let me just ask Rose, what's about this uh, better drivers? Yeah. Better You're drivers? We are better drivers. You are. Better drivers. We, we are better drivers. Well, lipstick on my We are. Definitely. Oh, yeah. okay. We are definitely. Oh, everybody right, thought you were. Oh, insurance is cheaper. Stop, stop, stop. Rose. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, our insurance is cheaper. 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 Yeah, our insurance is we let you take the road because that's what you want. Because we're the governor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. All right, no, Eric. it's not because you're the governor. This is a professional driver. This is someone who really does know how to yeah. drive. It's paid to drive. And yeah. I reckon she would only keep her job if she was good at it. But I am very interested in this idea that we have got different types of brain. Is that right, Eric? Yes. Yeah. In fact, um, both of those comments were right. Yeah. Um, Rose is correct that women, in fact, have less accidents, etc., etc. The irony is that when it comes to um, actually maneuvering a car, for example, parking in, in reversing into a space, reading maps even upside down and planning uh, routes and all that, men are actually better, but their judgment is worse because their testosterone makes them aggressive, possessive, um, causing road rage and accidents and their own deaths on the road, which is not suicide. The second killer, number one road accident. So what men. every male driver needs is a nice, calm woman sitting next to him saying, sure. now look, darling, <laughs> you may think you know where you're going, but can we
we make sure we get there in one piece? I want just to ask... Absolutely. I want to ask the women in the audience, let's help these poor, frail men. They clearly are unsure about what role they should be playing in today's world. What do we want 